What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be uh, doing something pretty cool. He's installing the Steta aluminum drive shaft. Should be able to get some more power to the ground. <clears throat> it's also 10 to 15 pounds lighter than the stock dry shaft. Quality, it's got uh, nice welds and it's got these weights on here to uh, balance it out. So hopefully we don't have to deal with any uh, vibration issues. Anyways guys, uh, first thing we need to do is jack this car up. Get this thing high as possible. Get our jack stands in there. Hey guys, a uh, little update. I can't really film it under here, but oh, get the front off. It's a uh, 10 millimeter 12 point. And then get the back off. It's also 10 millimeter. And then get the carry bearing, bearing bolts out. They are 13 millimeter. But uh, I guess most X pipes and H pipes, you can fish this uh, dry shaft out. But mine, there's not enough room. So I'm going to have to start taking some exhaust off. It's going to be harder than normal because normally, normally everything's clamped together, but I had mine welded because you know, welded so much better. You know, my, my welds leak anyway, so I don't see the point of welding it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm going to start taking this exhaust off. All right, I'll update on a little bit. All right guys, another update. I had to uh, end up having to cut my exhaust in two spots just to get the drive shaft out. It uh, it made a semi easy job into a more difficult job. So you, you know, you always gotta expect those things, I guess. Now it's time to uh, put the new drive shaft in. I'll update it when I'm done. Before you install the uh, new drive shaft, make sure you put these two hex head bolts right here on the uh, bottom of this side and this side. That way you don't have to, when you get it under there, you don't have to swivel it around to get these bolts in. Cause you see, they'll get stuck in there if you, if you don't have it swiveled. So put these in before you put in the drive shaft. Yeah, so this is the uh, rear end part. 
You gotta put those uh, two X head bolts we put in before we install the dry shaft. And then the uh, other four uh, Allen head bolts. Uh, the Allen head bolts is an eight millimeter Allen key. And then the hex head bolts are a half inch wrench. Yeah, on the transmission side, you're gonna reuse the, uh, the bolt that you took off, which is, uh, that's gonna be a 10 millimeter uh, 12 point socket. So on these hex head bolts, uh, it's pretty slow going because uh, there's no room for a socket Allen key. So you gotta do it by hand. Got them all tore down on both sides. So now I gotta go to the parts store and find me some exhaust clamps. I believe these are uh, two and three quarter inch pipes, but I need to measure or uh, look back when I ordered the sex pipe, see what size it is. All right, well, I'm gonna go do that and I'll see you here in a minute. Well, I got them. Of course, I couldn't get them at the hardware store right, right down the road. I had to go about 10 miles down the road to get them. I'm gonna throw these on and then uh, I'll get back with you. This sound out. <laughs> Thought that sounded pretty cool. All right guys, we got the clamps on, got the draft shaft on, uh, got most of the tools out of the way. Now we're just gonna let the car down. Slow and easy. A little bit at a time. Dude, need to move this stuff out of the way. Get this side all the way down. No. Get the jack stands out from under here. I'm really ready to get this garage cleaned up. It's kind of driving me nuts. Just got stuff everywhere. I like to stay somewhat organized. And guys, honestly, I'm kind of, from this past week of doing all this stuff, I'm kind of worn out on doing stuff to this car. Kind of, kind of want to sit back and enjoy it a little bit. Which we're about to. But, I also got other stuff coming to, to put on this thing, so. got it down now what do y'all say we do a little test drive all right guys well I had to get a shower and change clothes and all that just test drive going see if we can see if we can tell the difference between with the new dry shaft I'm gonna get this uh, mount off because I'm fixing to go uh, go eat with a buddy I don't want nobody jacking this thing Thing works good i got the word back from the tuner that uh our tune is uh looking pretty good so i guess we're good there all right let's get a co-start in It's 
actually only 83 degrees. It's kind of surprising. Honestly, it feels like I can already tell a little difference. Like it, it feels like the throttle's there quicker, which I think that is one of the things it should help with. Just gonna try and you know drive smoothly and see if I feel any vibration. Monster here. pipeline punch it's one of my favorites so far it's feeling pretty good so far I still don't feel any vibration or anything you can you can kind of tell you know the drive line it feels more solid so far that's all the only difference I can tell we'll do a, a little pull here in a sec let's put it in sport mode put it manual mode All right. this thing just it just moves now it's insane but yeah guys I don't feel any vibration at all line feels solid Feels like when you hit the gas, like the power is instantly there compared to before. If y'all didn't know, if you take out your back seats and your uh, your trunk insulation, it makes it way louder in here. I almost don't like it; it's too loud. I understand I'm trying to save a little bit of weight in here, but uh, I don't really like how loud it is. Guys, uh, everything feels great. I'm gonna get back to the house and then we'll uh, we'll give this thing a bath. It needs it bad. We'll see you guys there. Alright guys, we're back home. Uh, we got something to eat. And uh, now it's time to uh, get this thing cleaned up. We're gonna be going out this weekend. Doing some uh, car meeting and you know, a little bit of racing in Mexico. I'll definitely take y'all along for that. So let's get started on that. I'm gonna use some uh, gold class car wash. This stuff works good. I have so many different soaps. Decided I wanna, you know, use it up and get rid of it. Get some water in here. This car is ceramic coated, by the way. So you'll see how nice it cleans up. I think it has been on here for a year or so. Got that good. I'm going to wet everything down. Need some pressure. There we go. Kind of get all the dust off. Uh, cool off the surfaces a little bit. Don't want it to dry too fast. So happy I got this thing together now. And it's running great. We're really gonna see how it's running Saturday. Try to stay out of trouble. Apparently Saturday we have uh, a Hellcat that wants to run, a ZL1 Camaro. And we have a uh, another Mustang. Another boosted Mustang wants to run. So, looks like I'm gonna have some competition this time. Get my rag. Ooh. Oh yeah, nice and bubbly. I like to uh, start on the top and work my way down. Seems logical to me. Probably don't matter. Uh, gonna get some scrubbing going on now.
get the other side. Need to take the key out of my pocket. When you're washing this thing with the keys in your pocket, it keeps unlocking on you. I don't know if every car is like that, or it's just a Ford problem, because my truck does it too. Sometimes I love washing cars. Sometimes I don't. But when it really comes down to it, really don't take long. I'm just gonna scrub it down and uh, rinse it off. And then I like to cheat whenever you uh, go to dry it. My exhaust tip still ain't centered. That kind of bugs me. Bugs me a lot, actually. I actually got a couple of exhaust leaks from the guy, the last guy that welded my X pipe on. So uh, probably just go up there and let them fix all that. Oh, these dang keys. Watch, since I'm taking them out, when I go to get back in the car, I'll sit down and go to press the key and it will say, no key detected. And then I might say a cuss word and uh, then remember where I put the keys at. Got these uh, Roush hood fence that I added a while back too. Pointless just for looks. I actually thought they were going to do some venting, but they're just covered up underneath. Oh well. It does look better. Wash these calipers a little bit. I did order some uh, new brakes, some new brake pads and uh, calipers, or not calipers, uh, brake pads and rotors. So be looking out for that video, it won't be long. I'm hoping I get some good sleep tonight. I work shift work, and uh, sometimes switching back over to days is pretty rough on me. It's not I got uh, about four hours of sleep, even though I stayed up all night and all day. So what I was saying before my GoPro died at the last minute, you know, that's when it dies. Like, right when you're about to finish is when it's gonna die. It's weird how the world works like that. Anyways, I was saying that this weekend we're gonna be doing some running against some high power cars. So uh, subscribe and be looking out for that video. Like I said, we're gonna be doing some big things on this channel. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.